Bats are the only flying mammal on planet Earth. Birds, of course, fly depending on the species of birds. And some people think flying squirrels can fly, but they actually can't fly. They glide. They have to go from a high point to a low point. Bats are the only mammal that has sustained flight and can go long distances. We have 11 bats that live here in the greater Houston area. And Texas is the state that has the most number of bat species inside of it. Most of those bats are insectivorous, meaning they snack on bugs. Some are uh, nectarvores, which means they drink nectar just like hummingbirds do. Now, bats fly using their hands. A lot of people think they're flapping their arms like this, but in actuality, they're flapping their wrists like that. They've got very long phalanges or finger bones that make up their wing. In between their finger bones, they have membranes that stretch and catch the air. They get around at night by echolocation. Now that's where they make a noise. It hits an object, comes back to them, and depending on how the echo sounds, it tells the bat where that object is, what it is, if it's moving, if it's stationary, and whether or not they should try to snack on it or avoid it. Bats can fly great distances. We have a bat colony here underneath the Wall Drive Bridge. Now, every night they can fly from Houston to San Antonio and back again looking for the bugs they eat. Now, if it's August or one of the months where we have lots and lots of mosquitoes, they typically don't fly as far because they don't have to forage as much. They can get all they need to eat right here near the bayous. But once it gets later into the fall and insects are harder to find, they have to go greater distances in order to find the bugs they need to snack on. They have a membrane down in between their back legs that allows them to take sharp turns and move so bats are the only flying mammal, and even though they do have sustained flight and they can gain altitude after they take off, there's only one species of bat that can take off from the ground, and that's the pallid bat. The pallid bat's found out in West Texas by the Big Bend region out near El Paso. All other bats that you have here in Texas and anywhere in the world, if they get on the ground, they have to crawl, find a tree or some other high point, crawl up it, let go and then catch that wind and take off.